Jam really pushes much more and it aims to create an actual computer. Our modeling for Jam comes from real world results of the Polkadot virtual machine. If our modeling is correct, the performance numbers are between 10,000 and a million times what Ethereum can currently do. There's hundreds of uh, petabyte data possible through Jam, and that's what I'm uh, really excited about because I think now we're going to push the boundaries of uh, what Web3 can do currently. I think it's a, a great opportunity today to interact with the Jam and see what Gavin Wood has to say about how the Jam protocol builds on top of Polkadot and how we can use it to implement open source applications. Please join me to welcome Dr. Gavin Wood. This is unlike anything in the past in blockchain. The arrows have always been broken. There's always been a limit to the amount of computation we can do at a time. With core play, the proposal is, let's lift that limit. Let's make it actually Turing complete. So you can write arbitrary code, just regular software. You want to run Windows on it? I mean, notwithstanding the fact it doesn't have a screen, go ahead, you can run any software, even software that's not meant for blockchain. Software like Doom. So in real time right now, and you can kind of see it if you look in the background, Every six seconds, a block is produced, which provides six seconds of Doom frames. This isn't a special version of Doom. This is unmodified Doom. You can probably run 20 or 30 Dooms, maybe more, in a Jam core. And Jam has 341 cores. At the moment, there are uh, 35 independent teams working on implementing this protocol. We want there to be many Jam teams, dozens of Jam teams, hundreds of Jam practitioners, Jam experts, to understand the protocol inside out and can use that understanding not only to create implementations, but once they've created an implementation, to be able to create services upon the implementation. This is a sophisticated protocol modern blockchain protocols will be sophisticated. It's the first time that I've really done a, um, a proper yeah, multi-meter compressed into two or three weeks. Yeah, it was back in 2019, the last time I did that really. Polkadot was a very different uh, project to, um, to Ethereum and, it, and they're both uh, different to Jam. I think whereas Polkadot went more in the um, centralized development aspect with really just parity that, that was um, that was pushing um, development all the way through to Genesis um, and with less of a protocol first attitude with uh, with jam it's really we've gone on the other side of ethereum not only push the protocol first attitude but really try to decentralize the technical teams that are building it and you feel that I think from from the energy in in the in the room I mean we've, we've met several implementer teams now yeah. at the various different meetups and the the excitement is is very clear like jam is going to allow for things that are just not possible before and it's going to be fun to explore i think it's the same thing that motivated us all back in 2014 the the, the feeling that we're really onto something new game changing that opens up new possibilities and that we're there at the beginning and making really really important contributions um a part in a in a in a whole